Hello guys and welcome to this video tutorial of Inventor 2018. Um, as one of you asked me last week um, how to 3D model a wire rope. Um, so today I'll be showing you how to do that. Um, so I'm going to open up Inventor. Um, the first thing I'll do will be I'll create a sketch on the XY plane. There we go. I'm going to draw a circle right at the center of my origin. I'm going to make it 0.3 of a mil. So it is a bit too thick to be um, the string of a wire rope. Normally um, it would be probably um, no bigger than 0.1 of a mil probably even smaller. Um, the thing is, if we try to make it that realistic, um, it will take a lot of computational power. So I'm just um, doing it with bigger dimensions in order to um, to be able to do it quicker, just so I can show you the principle of how it's done. Then if you want more accuracy, um, you can create um, more, um, more strings and make them thinner. But again, it will take more computational power. So I'm going to draw my second circle, um, anywhere around here. Again, I'll make it 0.3 of a mil. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do, I will create a tangent constraint between this circle and this circle. Now, as you can see, it's constrained to the tangent. And um, in order to fix it, I will give it a horizontal constraint between the center and the origin. There we go. So now it is fully constrained. Next thing I will be doing, I will create a circular pattern. I will select this circle. My axis will be the center point of this circle. And then I want six units in total. So I'm going to click on OK. So I've got my sketch, I'll click on finish sketch, okay perfect. So next thing I will be doing, I will create another sketch, but this time on the exit plane. Okay, I'm going to draw a line from the origin, um, I'll make it 25 mil. Actually, I'll make it a bit bigger. I'll make it um, 50 mil. There we go. Perfect. Now, I'm going to draw another line. Just give it any length. We'll constrain it afterwards. So I've got my line. Now, I'm going to constrain the center point of this line to the center point of this one. So I'm going to use horizontal constraint. Now you may be wondering why a horizontal and not a vertical? Um, it is because we're looking at it from the wrong perspective. Um, we change our view. There we go. Sets a bit better. Um, so that's my center. Uh, that's the center point of my line. So now they're vertically constrained. Sorry, horizontally. Now I am going to make them equal. So I'm going to use this constraint over here. So this one is equal to this one. Well, that's perfect. Now we'll give them space and dimension. So maybe 30 mil. And now I will be creating an arc from this endpoint to this endpoint. We go. Now I will be applying a tangent constraint to make the arc tangent to the lines. So tangent and tangent. It already exists, I feel. So that's my second sketch done. So I'm going to click on finish sketch. 
Now, in order to generate my wire rope, I'm going to use the sweep command. So you will find over here. First, we have to select the profile. So it's going to be all of the diameters for our strings. Now you have to select the path. So it will be the second sketch we created. So now here you can see a preview of our string. Now we have to give it a twist. So if we give it a twist of 360 degrees, that means that it will turn and it will turn um, one full revolution from start to end. So I'm going to give it 5000 degrees, which is roughly 13 or 14 revolutions in total. As you can see, the software is struggling, struggling a bit to, um, to load all of it. There we go. It has finally loaded it. So now I'm going to click on OK and the inventor will finally generate it. Um, so I click on OK. So it says path does not intersect the profile. Um, I'll show you what, um, I'll show you the reason why um, that message came up. As you can see, um, my path um, intersects with the center, but it does not intersect with any of the other circles. That's simply because um, they are meant to twist around the center line. However, um, this won't affect um, the end result. Um, we won't get any error messages or anything. So just click on yes and wait for Inventor to generate the pattern. Okay, guys. Okay, so it has finally generated. It took my laptop a couple of minutes, so now you probably understand the reason why um, I only used five strings and of 0.3 and um, mil diameter and no more um, thinner strings. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.